Hello and good morning guys. Welcome back to Patriot Living. Um, I don't know how well you can hear me. I'm, I'm kind of trying to yell to you guys here. Um, actually, maybe I should turn up the volume on that. But, um, hey guys, good morning. Thank you for joining me back on another episode. Um, today, we are going to go test out... the chest mount for the GoPro-ish type thing that I have here. Um, it is not a GoPro, but it is a mini camera that, you know, does pretty well. Um, it's, it's, it's the one that I've been using since I started the channel. Um, also, guys, shaved it. We shaved it on Sunday, as you guys saw. Um, we are, uh, we are at 20, we are at 25. 25 subscribers thank you so much for your support guys um, you know it, it means a lot it really does um, now what we do from here on out I don't know yet um, I am waiting on some things for the car to go ahead and put on the car I also need to do brakes on the Mercedes because the little sensor is going off and it needs to be changed before it gets too low um, I don't know. I may change up to the uh, the the slotted um, the slotted rotors. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, should I go ahead and swap those out for for the for the slotted rotors, or should I just keep them the way they are? You know, at least for now. Maybe I'll just keep them the way they are just for now, and we'll change them out and have those as backups. Um, new hat, guys. I like it. Kind of fits the motif. Thank you, Tim. Thank, thank you, Andy. I love you guys. Um, hope you guys are doing okay today. Um, as you saw, we did have a little bit of a of a barbecue and you know a little bit of a celebration because you know we we just needed it. You know we needed to get out there and do our thing. Um, I did order some some tackle from Carl's Bait. We'll see how that goes. Um, that's on its way. Um, there's a lot of exciting stuff. A lot of exciting stuff, guys. Um, I haven't gotten a call back from my boss yet. We'll see where we are with that here soon. Um, got another pair. Got these ones. Thank you, Mario. And then I just got these ones. Um, they're they're blue tinted, as opposed to the black tint. <clears throat> um, you know, just just pretty exciting. I can't find the green tinted ones. If you guys know where to find the green tinted Guggen Bay um, Mondo Mondo Optics, you know, let me know in the comments. Um, but um, I think we're gonna start going kind of big time here. Um, I, you know, I am not, you know, 25 of subscribers, guys. Holy shit! You know, I, I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, we'll go 50 on this next one. If we get to 50, we'll, we will shave all this mop. We'll shave it, and we will diet at the same time. Just a little courtesy thank you for you guys and your guys' support. You know, I really do appreciate it. Without you guys, you know, wow. Um, so like I said, we're going to get out there, we're going to go do our thing. Uh, I'm going to try and get a hold of my son and see if he's going to go ahead and come with me. Um, at least one of my sons likes to go out there and do uh, outdoorsy things. Um, you know, <clears throat> the other one's just a teenager. He's, you know, all about the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill some shit life, you know what I mean? So, and I don't blame him, you know, it's fun. But there's other things in life to go do besides go ahead and, you know, just waste your, waste your time on a game. Um... You know, these are the times that we have to cherish. You know, um, I am trying to, I'm, I am trying to ease up on him. 
you know, just just trying to go ahead and you know like like let him live a little bit. But I mean, it's every weekend he's on that damn Xbox. So I think because you know it's pretty much summer and summer vacation and stuff, <coughs> we're gonna go do stuff. Um. Also, I need to find out where I can go ahead and get some more ammunition. Because I'm about to go blow off some steam and, well not today, but like here in like the next maybe couple days, three, four days. Um, Brian, I haven't forgotten about you. Um, but rather exciting guys, rather exciting, um, tattoo shops are open now. At least a couple of them. Um, can't wait to get the next one. Can't wait. Um, that's happening soon too. So... Um, you know, I'm getting, <clears throat> I'm getting the tattoo that, that I've been trying to get for a couple months now. Um, you know, got put on, got put on furlough and all those, all those, uh, plans got wiped out. So now that, you know, unemployment's kind of come through a little bit here. Um, it is a hell of a wait though. You know, it's like a two or three month wait, but I'm in. I've got my, I've got my name in there. Um, other than that though guys, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna swap out, we're gonna switch up the camera today, go with this one as I'm fishing. I don't know if I like the way that's sitting. I may have to put some, I put a washer in there or something. But, um, Oh my god. I don't know why this is so hard to get off. It's that little bit of little bit there that doesn't want to let go of the little bit there. <laughs> if that makes any sense to you guys. But anyway, um, like I said, we're going to go out there. We're going to do our thing. We're going to go and, you know, swap out and go and do some fishing. Um... I do want to go ahead and clean up a little bit. Uh, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just go the way I am. <laughs> I know it's, it's the same shirt I wore yesterday, but you know what? I'm fishing. I'm not going to be around anybody that I need to go ahead and impress. I mean, nobody wants me to impress them anyway. So, um, but on that note, though, guys, I will talk to you guys here in a few, and um. We'll get this. We'll get. We'll get our our fishing going and get our day rolling. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe tonight I'll go ahead and do some some dad jokes. But right now we'll see what happens here. Um, but love you guys. Talk to you in a little bit. Hey guys, so I tried doing some fishing and I forgot to turn on the stupid uh, microphone again, my bad. But we're gonna go ahead and do these tires or do these um do these brakes on, on the Mercedes. Cause these things the the uh, the sensors are starting to go off, so figured we'll go ahead and, and do those. So pretty much we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and, and do the brakes on this thing. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that I have everything for this before I go ahead and start this because be my luck today that I don't have everything so I'll talk to you here in a few minutes um, I'll let you I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and film what I'm doing on this and we will go ahead and post this tonight since you know fishing kind of was a shit so I'll talk to you here in a few seconds okay so it appears that we have everything for this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and Use my new my new um, sockets to go ahead and get this done. Gotta love it. But um, we're gonna go ahead and get this done real quick. Get this out of the way so we don't have to worry about it later. Um, 
there are some other plans to go on with this but I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys over here and I'll start filming here in just a minute okay so all of those are broken loose I'm not sure if this will fit this so I'm just gonna do this for now there we go and now we jack the car up I've got an adapter. Pull these off. Apparently these have caps on them. Oh, it's a 45. There it is. Alright, so that broke loose. Let's see, they have caps. Weird. But whatever it takes to get these things to work or get these things to be changed. Now I do need to pop the hood <clears throat> and <clears throat> maybe even put this on jack stands. There we go. That should go right off now. Why are you not coming off? 
This shit just. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we got, we got that off. We got the caliper off. So now I got to go ahead and compress the. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had a technical malfunction here. We had a. No battery left. And I don't know why. I'm going to have to check on that battery and see what's going on. But. Um. So, as you can see, we've already got the other, these are the new brake pads. These are the new ones. As you can see, the old ones are pretty thin. Starting to wear through on that. And then that right there, kind of, you know, they, they have some okay pad left, but way too close for comfort for the Mercedes. Because, you know, it's a pampered car. So... Now what we need to do is go ahead and re-put back on the wheels, at least on this side. The lug nuts are weird. They're, they are the most fast-ackwards back, cars ever. I really need to find that other lug nut. So there's four, there's, there's, there's a total of five for the car. But I only have four here. Guys, if you guys are wondering what to get me for Christmas, a toolbox would be great. Now, like I said, the lug nuts on these are really weird. A normal lug nut for like a tr the truck or whatever, the stud is inside the inside the rotor. Speaking of rotors, we're gonna have to get these ones done here soon too. <clears throat> but one step at a time with the car. Like I said though, these are the weirdest, <clears throat> most backwards things to be able to put back on. Okay. At least get it started. There's the first one. Two.
Alright, so that's on there. Let's just do this real quick for good measure. And tighten this one down for good measure too. Alright, so that's on there. So wheel number two, we're going to go ahead and um, show you the whole process since my camera cut out. And get this thing rolling too, so. Alright, so these have caps too, so I'm going to have to put, take these off. It's really weird. <clears throat> it's for the calipers. I've never seen one on a car before. But there again.
Now I am looking at getting uh, slotted and cut rotors here in the near future. But that's not going to happen for a little bit until we actually get into a garage and I can actually break this thing down without, you know, being out in the sun and, you know, I can actually put it on a lift. Come out, work on a car, curse it out if I have to, if I need to. Come on. It should come right off. There we go. See? That's how they should lift off. Sometimes it doesn't. And both sides are pretty much there. So now we're going to take our big old C clamp. Like I said, this is kind of therapeutic for me because I had a bad day at the lake. Wasn't catching nothing, wasn't getting any bites, nothing. I guess the fishing gods just weren't with me today. So. That's all the way pushed back. Take this out now. You see, guys? This is what the old ones look like. Which are pretty worn, really. Yeah, the new ones. Pretty thick. Like some chicks I know. <laughs> I need me a thicken. Alright, so these are the wires that are hanging off of here. These are the um the brake pad sensors. Tells me when my brakes are about to go go dead. And they were they were they were yelling at me. So we'll put this in here very carefully. You just kind of clip in like that. Push this back a little bit. Put this up there, so I'm not bending it all crazy.
and there we go. Fits in there, pushes in there. And we should be almost ready to go ahead and put these back on. Grab the front pad. Take and put this back here. Make sure I'm not twisted up. All right, that's in there now. Well, now all I gotta do is go ahead and tighten this thing up, put the wheels back on, and we are done. It's just the wheels are kind of hard to put back on. And then lining this shit up stupid too, so. About an hour, hour and a half to go ahead and put everything together. Not bad, I think that's a speed record for me. Put these caps back on. I kind of made it hard for myself because I put tire cleaner on it. Hi, honey. I didn't have melon, but I got you peach. That's fine. Sweet. Just finishing up. Nice. Good timing on my part. Tarot. Tarot? Yeah, ever heard of tarot? But this just a little bit. Careful. Not a lot of bit, a little bit. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> 
plastic. It's stuck. Come on. And that's brake pads 101. We'll drop this the rest of the way down. And now to go ahead and get the pressure back in the brakes because what we did is we went ahead and we, we, we compressed the we compressed the, the calipers. So now we need to go ahead and get the pressure back in them. So now we got to go in there and pump the brakes and everything else. Uh, I think we're going to have Sally go ahead and hold the camera while I'm doing that. Can we go Sally here today? I'm pretty sure that's not carrot, not carrot. Carrot? <laughs> karate. Karate. Those are the sensors. Was, this one's chewed up because I tried getting it up my and, and tried to recycle them. Mm -hmm. Wasn't happening. Makes sense. So I just went ahead and pulled the other side, this side off all the way. Okay, so I think we're we're pretty much done with the car for today. Uh, just now it's just time for cleanup and cleaning up. Because this is what I look like usually when I'm working on cars anyway, so. That being said though guys, sorry that the that my, my fishing video didn't go through as, pl as planned. Got, got, got skunked today. Tomorrow's another day, but we'll figure it out, okay? So, I will, I will go ahead and conclude this video here in a little bit. But for now, I will talk to you later. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. That looks really weird. <laughs> um, but I'm going to end this video here. Um, sorry, let me get centered here. Alright, so I'm going to end this video here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and upload and, and get, this, get this posted for you guys. Um, did a lot of work on the car. It's a lot, it's a lot on the car. But I... Um, I was trying to fish and I didn't have a very good day fishing, so... Maybe we'll try again tomorrow or the next day. We'll see. Um, but like, comment, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. Go buy your t-shirts, guys. Go buy your t-shirts. Um, it helps out the channel. So I know this this is gonna this is gonna take a little bit to go ahead and and grow back in. That I'd figure I figure I'd show you the aftermath. It'll start growing back in here shortly. But. Love you guys. Patriot out.